Hello students, in this video we will be discussing the effect of friction on nozzle. First effect, the frictional losses in the nozzle due to friction between fluid and nozzle surface. The frictional losses which come in the nozzle, they are because of the friction between these two things. What are the two things? First is fluid and second is nozzle surface. Between do, these two things, the frictional losses takes place. And second, the friction within fluid itself fluid itself causes friction due to friction the expansion process through nozzle becomes irreversible that means the expansion process that is taking place through the nozzle cannot be reversed due to friction the heat drop reduces by 10 to 15 percent heat drop reduces by 10 to 15 percent and exit velocity also reduces this is the graph of ts diagram or we can say ts diagram it is the expansion of gas through nozzle in this figure 1 to 2 shows you without friction and 1 to 2 dash shows you with friction now 1 to 2 difference gives you ideal heat drop and 1 to 2 dash gives you actual heat drop. These lines here represents the P1 and P2 pressure lines in the TS chart. Now if we see the nozzle efficiency, the nozzle efficiency is actual heat drop upon ideal heat drop. Now the actual heat drop is H1 minus H2 dash where H is enthalpy of the gas and the ideal is H1 minus H2 or you can write it with respect to temperature also T1 minus T2 dash upon T1 minus T2. In case, agar, in case working fluid is steam if the working fluid is a steam then the steam is also heated due to this friction which leads to increasing the dryness fraction due to this dryness fraction the volume also increases because of this dryness fraction as steam passes through the nozzle the friction causes heating of this steam which increases the dryness fraction I hope you like this video and